Hello everyone, my name is Leah and I'm the technical lead of the Visual Studio Team Services plugin for IntelliJ and Android Studio. Today I'm going to show you an end-to-end -end demo of the new 1.0 release of our plugin. For this demo, I'm going to use a basic Hello World program to show you our plugin's features. To start working, I found my repository in VSTS in the browser. If I go to the clone button in the upper right corner, and I select clone, you'll see the option to clone in your favorite IDE. From the drop down there, you can choose from various IDEs you want to clone in, but today I'm going to choose IntelliJ. Once I select that, you'll see a dialog pop up asking for your approval to launch the application, which is it's launching IntelliJ. So I'm going to hit launch IntelliJ, and we'll see that IntelliJ then comes up with a prompt asking you to check out from team services uh, with some default values. So I'm going to select clone and it's going to now clone my repository. Uh, it's going to ask you if you want to check out the project which is what we want to do so we can start working. So I'm going to select yes and then IntelliJ will prompt you for some other configurations that I'm just going to click through right now. Now that my project is open, the VSTS plugin allows you to view your pull request work items in build status. At the bottom right here, you can see a little red X, which tells me my build status for this repository. You can see that my build has been failing for the past hour or so. If you click on it, you can find a few more options. You can view the details of this exact build so you can see why it's failing. If you want to queue a new build, you have that option. Or if you want to refresh the status in the IDE, you can do that too. Now, to see where work items and pull request information is, you can go to the version control tab down at the bottom here. Once you click on that, you'll see the pull request tab, which currently shows that we have no pull requests requested by me or assigned to me. Or you can select the work items tab which does show you several work items that are assigned to me at this time. To keep these tabs up to date, you can select the auto refresh checkbox right here. Uh, so it'll refresh the menu every five minutes. If you would like to, to not have an auto refresh, instead of manually, manually refreshing when you would like, you could instead use this uh, refresh button here to do a manual refresh instead of doing an auto refresh. Or if you want to, even if you do have the auto refresh checked, but you don't want to wait the five minutes for it, you can do the manual refresh here as well. So let's start working. What I want to do is I want to start working on work item number 10 to add VSTS to this demo. So I'm going to select the work item and right click on it. And I'm going to create a branch from this work item. And what this does is it associates uh, the work item with this branch. So I'm going to create a branch. I'm going to leave, uh, again, all of the defaults in the, the name of the branch, uh, the branch that it's based off of. And I also want to leave it checked so that it checks, this checkbox checks so that it checks out the branch once it's done creating. So we're going to create. And now that we see uh, that we have checked out, we're in branch work item 10 here, you can see at the bottom right. You can also see here uh, in the work items menu that uh, our branch that's associated with this work item has been refreshed here and it shows up. So we can start working now. Now, what I want to do is make my change for this work item. So I'm going to open up my file here. And to add VSTS to this demo, I'm just going to add to this print statement just a few more words and call that done. And now I'm going to commit my change. I'm going to come in here, write a brief message. 
and I'm going to commit. And we don't need to do any code analysis, which IntelliJ asks for, but we have our commit done. Now while I'm working, let's say I decide that I also want to fix a bug that I have assigned to me. I'm going to go back to my work items menu at the bottom here, and I have a query for work items that are just my bugs that I've created personally. So I choose that query and I can see my bugs that come up and I see what the bug that I have assigned to me is to fix the build that is failing for this demo. So as you saw earlier uh, at the, in the bottom right corner the build is failing with the red X. So let's fix that. If I go back up to my code you can see I, I definitely have an error here. So I'm, I'm just going to fix it so that I don't have a bug anymore. I'm going to save it. I'm going to come up to the top. I'm going to commit this change. Now, I want to show that this commit fixed this bug. So I'm going to associate the two in my commit message. So if I come here, I'm going to remove the old commit message that was from my last commit. I'm going to click on the VSTS button in the commit dialog here. And it'll display all my work items that I have. So I wanted to associate the bug work item with this commit. So I'm going to click on that and hit OK. And you can see that my commit message now contains my bug information. So that the two now are associated once they go to the server. So I'm going to hit commit. And now those changes are done. And that's it for all the changes that I need to make. So what I want to do next is to create a pull request so that I can merge these changes into master. So I'm going to go to pull request here. I'm going to click on the create a pull request button and I'll bring up my pull request uh, menu here. So you can see that, uh, that it came up with a title which is going to merge this branch into master. You can change the default if you don't like it. Uh, the description puts in the, the different commit messages that you have. Uh, you also have the ability to look at the commits. If you want to drill down into one of the commits, you can. And you can also get a diff then to see what exactly you changed in each of those commits. If you're happy with what you see here and you're ready to create your pull request, you just go to the bottom, create pull request, and now your pull request is created. And it's nice uh, if you want to go to the web now and see your pull request, uh, you just follow the link in the top right notification here and it'll bring up your pull request in the browser. Now uh, to continue with this demo what I'm going to do here is just complete my pull request so that we can move forward and see how uh, how this fixes my build and we can see the status change. So I'm going to complete this merge and my pull request was merged successfully so I'm going to go back to IntelliJ and we're going to give uh, we're going to give it a minute to build now and once we're done building we can do an update to see if the the build has changed and if it has succeeded now but as we're waiting um, I would like to call attention to to all the different smiley face logos that you've probably seen throughout this demo and all of our functionality and with the smiley face uh, symbol is that you see throughout is a way for you as a user to send us feedback. Um, I, we would love to hear what you like, what you don't like, what you want. So please, please, please send us any feedback you have. It's a great way for us to prioritize and create uh, new features that are coming out. So let's see now if our build is finished. Instead of waiting for the auto refresh I'm just going to manually kick off the refresh. And it looks like we still might have another minute for our, oh, nope, there we go. Our build now has succeeded. Uh, we know that our repository is good to go and we can continue working if we would like to. Um, so I hope this demonstration helped you. I hope uh, that you ha now can go forward and use the plugin. Uh, and again, if you have any feedback, please feel free to let us know. I thank you very much for your time, for watching this, and I hope you have a great day.